Yeah. Uh, not to be misled by no man. Um, the um, the now now that the uh, key is out. Uh, we should be able to turn the flywheel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's all right. Okay. Oh yeah. It wants to come off, but I want to clean this flywheel up before I attempt that. So I'm going to put that back in there. Because it's on a slanting position and it'll fall off. So, we'll take care of that other gift key over there. And then we'll get back to that flywheel. Well, it's this shaft right here, the the sticking out part there, where you put your pulley, that is so rusted. So we're going to remove that rust with a carbide scraper. And that's the carbide, right? Carbon. It's, it's a high carbon blade. And if you, if you take a carbon, that's the beauty of these new... The new... Uh, Carbide insert, cutting tool, goes all the way to the metal. If, if you try to sand that, like right there, if you try to sand that, it's a gummy mess. So, the sandpaper is pretty expensive. One of these exacto knife blades right there, when you get dull, you can touch them up on the grinder over there. So you want to maintain a cutting edge, but once you, once you, let me wheel cut in a different direction. Uh, one side will have a burr on it. So you turn it around and work it down to the other side and then turn it around and use that side. But when you get in the rhythm, I guarantee you, you can clean more metal with that one blade right there than you can clean with 10 pounds of sandpaper. I mean that's more than ready for electrolysis, but but the point, the reason doing it for here is not not rust removal in itself. It's to get this flywheel off of the shaft without scoring the inside of the of the of the flywheel housing, it hurting either the flywheel or the crankshaft. See, that's a very good crankshaft. It still has the factory. Uh, Two marks in. Now right there's some damage to the crankshaft. That it's a it's a divot. Not sure what caused that just yet. Could have had a pulley on this side at one time. Okay, being that this head here is already beat it up, and I don't think the gib. I don't think the gib key is the gib key remover will hold on here. I'm just going to go at it with a big punch to start with.
yeah. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you what happened. And that's how you remove a gib key. And it does. And the reason to go about it like that is I didn't do that. That was already done. So the other alternative that it stuck out really good, you could have welded a, you could have pulled it with welding on a all thread and a. So let's see if this flywheel is free. Well, you'll have to put the key in the other, it is in the other side. Hmm. Let's see if this flywheel is free. It wants to be, but I'm going to spray that down. That's how you remove the give key.